Always in the freezer, gotta have ice cold snuckle. Anybody that drinks a lot of beer in their band, we're fucking tight friends. In addition to the new record and the formation of their own record company, Elementary Records, which they'd set up at the tail end of 1997, Korn put together their own answer to Lollapalooza. Headlining their own Family Values tour, they showcased some of the heaviest acts of the day in addition to a throng of breakdancers, fire eaters and a myriad of other cultural oddities. The critically acclaimed tour, which was masterminded by Korn, their management company, The Firm and Metropolitan Entertainment, saw the band hooking up with like-minded acts, including rap rock buddies Limp Biscuit, industrial post-goths Orgy, hip-hop hero Ice Cube and German rock terrorists Rammstein. According to a Los Angeles Times review, it certainly proved to be one of the rock spectacles of the year with one of the heaviest, cutting-edge concert lineups in modern hard rock history, the tour generated the audiences, the attention and the Bible-thumping wrath that most bands, unless they're Marilyn Manson, could only dream of. As the Family Values tour rolled on, it soon drew fire from religious groups not thrilled with its off-colour humour and theatrical shock rock. On one occasion, prior to the tour's visit to Lafayette, Louisiana, a local reverend and members of the local Baptist church took a stroll through the seats of the city's venue and prayed for a sense of protection. Management for Corn and the Family Values Camp subsequently issued a response stating that the reverend was wasting his time since no one sat down at a Family Values show. Tongue in cheek, Korn even sent a telegram to former US Vice President Dan Quayle inviting him to come and check out the tour. It would be entirely inappropriate and remiss of us not to extend a personal invitation to you and your family to be on hand at any one of the tour stops on the Family Values track, since we believe it was you who brought the phrase Family Values to all of our attention. This tour is somewhat of a tribute to you. Listen to what you have created and look at what you have wrought. Sincerely, Corn. P.S. All excess passes will be included with your tickets. By the time it had wound up its 27 dates, the Family Values Trek had grossed more than $6.4 million in ticket sales. Over 243,000 fans purchased the fan-friendly ticket prices that ranged from $26 to $29.50. It recently spawned an album and companion home video featuring songs from all six of the acts who appeared, including Incubus, who stepped in for Ice Cube when the rapper had to leave the raucous roadshow early in order to start work on a film with George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg. The Hour Plus album and 86-minute video, most of which was recorded live in New Orleans at the UNO Lakefront Arena on October 18, 1998, gave fans a glimpse into the sonic and visual insanity of the tour. The Family Values Tour CD entered the US charts at number 7. For Australian fans, the release also included a bonus CD with live videos of Blind and Got the Life, shot at the Big Day Out Festival in Sydney.